state a similarity and a difference between an up quark and an up anti quark. What are quarks? What's the difference and what's what? This is from a particle physics chapter 11. Up quark is a fundamental particle, and you can find this up quark inside protons. Two, three proton is made out of three, up, up, down, kind of bound together with some very nice strong force. Up anti quark, we usually use the symbol U, but with a line on top. The line will tell you it's anti. So one similarity between these things is they are, they are quarks. Don't say they are quarks. Say these are both fundamental particles. So both are fundamental particles. Particles. There we go. And one of the main difference is the anti word. One is quark. One is anti Antimatter is a class of matter where it is like your anti law, like your evil twin. I'm Miss Ellie, and there's an anti Ellie, which is the opposite of me, or everything reverse. Antimatter. So you can say one is matter, one is antimatter. So there's one similarity and difference between them. Other similarity and differences. What else do we have? I thought I saw something pop up. Um, we could talk about their charge. If you remember what is the charge. And talk about their mass. If you remember their mass. Ah, yes. Mass and charge. Very good. So this charge, oh, this particle has a mass. This particle also has a mass. And they are the same. So both, the, both are fundamental particles. And they have the same mass. We can add here. How about the charge? Magnitude of charge is the same. So if this one is say 2 over 3, this one is also 2 over 3. A charge, ah. Magnitude. Haven't included the sign yet. Charge. We can say same mass or magnitude of charge. Yes. You can either this one or it. Can either this one or same mass or same magnitude of charge. This is all one. So check and see if you manage to mention any of these similarities. The difference though, you can add more answers. Uh, the charge. Ah yes, the charge. This one is actually plus positive 2 over 3. A uh, two thirds of a charge. But this one is actually negative 2 over 3. Because NT, NT you just reverse positive to negative, negative to positive. So you can say there are different sign of charge. Different sign of charge. Okay, so we can talk about metal, antimatter, different sign of charge. There's one more. So make sure you know what is your up quarks, what are quarks, what are down quarks, what are baryons, mesons. These are all from the particle physics chapter. Okay, now let's move on to the next part then. So now you have an electron in an electric field in a vacuum. Aha, this one is important. Vacuum means you don't have all the forces that must have a medium. So vacuum means no drag force, no viscous force, no upthrust, none of those. Those we will need a fluid in order for that force to appear. This is a vacuum. Only the field forces. Field forces only. So electric field, gravitational field. Uh, anyway, uh, this is an instant where the electron is stationary, not moving already, not moving at this point. What are we supposed to draw first? Draw an arrow to show the direction of electric force acting on the stationary electron. Remember, electric field lines are pointing to the left. And this is an electron. This is a rebel. So the electric force actually will be pointing to the right for this electron. Because for... For electrons, if your E point to the left, your F point to the right, that's how you can check. So if you draw a horizontal arrow somewhere on your paper, or if you did it on this paper and wrote over, draw to the right, that's okay. That's one. Next part, explanations. The electric field causes the electron to move from its initial position. 
Describe and explain the acceleration of electron due to the field as it moves through the field. So there's two things you need to do here. We need to describe, describe what? Acceleration of electron. So you need to tell me a story. What is the acceleration of electron? How does it change? Uh, I should say describe usually is like changes. Now. Okay, changes, any changes? And explain, you must say why you say it changed like that. Explain usually is linked to why. So describe, tell me the changes, tell me a story, explain what's about, why you say that about the acceleration. Something to note here is the electric field is non-uniform because you look at this spacing here. Wow, such a big spacing. That means at that point, let's wrap up all these things, the E field is very weak, very, fur, very far apart spacing. But as you go to over this side, wow, the E field is quite strong, eh? it's stronger. So because of that, your force actually will change whether you're on the left side or you're on the right side. For example, if I'm on here, E feel very weak. Uh, e, I just draw a small little arrow. Uh, yeah, very weak. Weak. But if you're on the right side, whoa, very strong feel. I draw a big long arrow because these are vectors and the magnitude is much larger. Very strange. This is a non-uniform feel. Non. Uniform field. Okay, so how can we check and see what answers we have that can be marked? Hmm. Let's talk about the electric field strength first. We just now mentioned here is very weak, here is very strong. So as I move from left to right, I'm going towards a stronger field strength. So I can say that at my first point, that the electric field strength increases. Or you can say the electric force increases. Increases. If you got mentioned this somewhere, field strength or force increases, that is the first one to look for in your working. These two are linked by the idea F equals to QE. Uh, electric force equals to QE. If the E increase or as you move, the F will also increase, stronger and stronger. Okay, then we need to link together. So how does that link to the acceleration at all? Then we need to think of, okay, when you think of acceleration and there's force involved, there's only one equation that can link force to acceleration and that is Newton's second law. Net force equals to MA. There's only one force acting on our particle up here. So we, we just say, okay, uh, electric force then equals to MA. Or you can say QE equals to MA. So what is changing here? Electric field strength is changing. So acceleration will also change following that. So we can say, huh, since the net force increases as you move to the right, uh, we're moving to the right, okay. Net force increases. Net force on particle. Oh, yeah. Specify a bit more. Huh? On particle increases, acceleration increase. So we am looking for the word acceleration increases in your working. Increases. This is what we're looking for. So first one, electric field strength or force increase. Second one, acceleration increase because of that force. Okay, let's move on to the next part. A stationary alpha particle is now placed in the same electric field, means the pattern of E is the same, at the same initial position that was occupied by the electron. Compare. Oh, so you say which one larger, which one smaller, by how much, if you know that. Compare the force acting on alpha particle with the initial force acting on electron. Oh, it's alpha particle. In case you forget already, uh, alpha particle is what we also call a helium nucleus without the electrons. So we have two plus, two protons, two neutrons. This is what we call 
the alpha particle. And it has a charge of two proton. Ma. So the charge of this fellow is positive 2e. Compare that with the previous electron in the electric field. One electron. The charge is only just negative 1e. Oh. So two times the charge. Ooh. Ooh okay. Mm, how about the direction? Let's go back to the diagram up there a bit. So a, a negative charge is here. It goes to the right. What if I put a positive charge here? Positive charge will follow the direction of the electric field. So it'll go like this. F. Electric field point to the left. Electric force also point to the left for positive charge. So that's the first difference I can tell. Oh, their force is actually different direction for alpha particle and also electron. So that's the first thing I'm going to write down. I say force on the alpha particle is in the opposite direction. In the opposite direction to force on electron. What I'm looking for is opposite direction idea. This one, you can look and see you're working. Do you describe alpha force is experiencing force to the left, electron experiencing force to the right? Next point. How about the force? The magnitude of the force itself is going to be different. So we can say that which one has the bigger force? Ah? Let's, let's write it down. This one down here force is going to be negative 1e as a charge times electric field strength, which is the same for both. But for the alpha particle, the force acting on it will be positive 2e times electric field strength. So we can see which one is bigger. Though. Ignoring the sign aside, one is two times bigger. So we can say, okay, alpha particle got bigger force because it's got more charge. So the force on alpha particle is twice or double the magnitude of the force on electron. Force on electron. I am looking for you mentioning double or twice the magnitude for alpha particle. So this one is another one. Some of you may mention, Miss, if I didn't write twice or double, I just say it's larger. If you say larger, not specific enough. When you are comparing between two things, if possible, add in a factor, two times bigger, three times bigger, if you have the, if you have the values. Ah. If you don't have values, then you say larger. 